my name is uh, Ricardo Moran. Yes, so what I'm going to show you today is the, uh, the progress that I've been made, uh, that I made on uh, this project that I've been working on for a couple of, uh, of, of years, on, a, uh, on and off, at, um, uh, and in my spare time most of the time. So um, I, I work at the Universidad Abierta Interamericana uh, with Matias, which is over there, and uh, I used to work with La Laura, that is, I don't know where, and um, oh, at the back. Uh, and we made this, uh, this tool we, we, we call Physical Etoys, which is uh, an extension of Etoys that allows you to communicate with uh, robots, especially for, for, for kids. So this, this tool that I will show you briefly can, uh, um, can talk with you know, devices like this, which is an Arduino, uh, or through the uh, USB uh, USB port. So, uh, in physical toys, what you have is, you know, a graphical objects that you can, you know, uh, talk and, uh, and build scripts by dragging and dropping tiles like like this. And you can, for instance, make a an if an if statement with, you know, two branches and. Do, do, do. Yes. Something like this, and the, 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 the children will will uh, write their their scripts the, in this in this fashion, and then the result of executing this script will uh, uh, have impact on the real world. Yes, like in in this case, this script will turn on and off an LED that I don't even have uh, connected yet. But uh, I wanted to show you this because this is the motivation for my for a project that I'm going to to, to show you now. And the thing with physical etoys is that uh, this script will run on the computer and then it, um, show, send the commands to the uh, Arduino uh, every, every, every time. No? So the problem was that some things that we want to write, some, some, uh, some programs that we want to write, we want to write them on the, on the Arduino and not uh, via the serial port, because uh, the serial port is slow, because we want to be uh, independent from the computer, and, and several several reasons. So uh, back in the, I think, 2013, I think, we made this um, translator from the small talk that is generated by these scripts, that I can show you, and to, to C++, which is what is what, what runs in, in these in this worlds. So then we will use the Arduino tools to compile that C++ and uh, send it to the board, and then the board will work uh, like uh, without need for a computer anymore. But that had uh, a lot of a lot of issues because uh, the pro the translation was not you know it was complex and. Um, it relied on C++, which is, uh, you know, uh, not very nice. And uh, it relied also on the, on the Arduino tools, which made physical etoys had to uh, include as dependencies and made the program bigger. So, uh, and then the drivers for, for the Arduino changed and we didn't uh, adapt the code. Yes? No, this is, the round trip is also uh, a problem. If you have, you can't work uh, an autonomous robot uh, without uh, running on, on, on here because uh, by the time you can react to. Uh, no, I don't mean. I mean, I mean, running the C++ translator and compiling. Yes, that took uh, several seconds. But uh, the thing you you don't usually do that uh, very often, so that also is a problem because we are used to uh, be able to modify the scripts while the scripts are running on, on ETOs, and that uh, kind of defeats the purpose. So what uh, I thought as a solution to, to this issue, and also when you write uh, the compile program, will not communicate anymore with the computer, so that's another problem. And so the, the solution I thought was. To put to to make you know a simple a simple uh, virtual machine that will run here that doesn't need to 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 to, to know very much about uh, you know just needs to run our programs and 
uh, keeping the, the monitor program that will allow you to connect with the, with the computer and be able to inspect all the stuff and, and such. So what I want, I showed kind of the, the start of the project uh, two, years, two years ago, and now I'm going to show you something, uh, you now the progress on that. Um, since I was building, you know, a, a small virtual machine for this, I could also uh, choose to raise the abstraction level of the, of the language that was going to run here and choose a semantics that will match more uh, easily with the Itoi semantics. So the translation was, was going to be much simpler. And so the, 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 the language that I, that I made is, is very limited, very simple, but it matches the semantics of the of the ETO is very well. So that's kind of a, an, an, uh, a benefit. Also, it has some uh, useful abstractions to work with, uh, with the Arduino, such as, uh, you know, the digital pins or the analog pins don't require co uh, configuration. They, you can write any value between 0 and 1, and you, the, uh, the scaling is automatic. So it has a, a couple of, of things that are uh, useful. And um, and it, it kind of works, so I will show you that. Um, I have here. I don't. I wouldn't want to expand on the implementation. I don't know if you can see that, but I will briefly uh, talk about it. Although it's not very interesting. What we have is on the right side. You know the, the Arduino implementation, which contains you know the the, the VM, which is a like simple interpreter, a stack, and the monitor program that is able to talk with the computer and you know. Uh, notify about the global variables, the, the pin values and stuff. And also can receive the programs to run and, and, and such. The, on the PC side, we have, you know, the, the parser that will uh, translate the code written from, from the user or, or even from the Etoys uh, translator. And that code will be compiled by this, this UC compiler class. The UC encoder will then translate it to bytes and then uh, the protocol will be allowed to you know, change, send it to the, to the Arduino board to, to be able to run it. So this is a very simple explanation. I don't want to the, uh, the lose too much time on that. I will show you how it's, it's working. First, I will plug the, first I will plug the Arduino to the computer. I have a problem. I don't have three hands, so bear with me first. <laughs> no, no, not again. So I plug this here, here. So um, I have this. The, the integration with physical is still very uh, in an early stage. So I will show you what I've been doing. I have this morph over here that allows me to kind of see the state of the of the machine and and interact with it. So I can connect this uh, with, I believe it's COM3, if I'm not mistaken. And when it connects, it, should, it says uh, the color to green, and I can start um, interacting with it, sending programs and stuff. Um, we have here, you know, it's connected, it's port 3, but we don't uh, uh, enable any pin to be able to um, be not access, read the values. So for you can see this now, so I will plug uh, an LED I don't know if you uh, will see this but I have here an LED that I plugged in uh, the um, digital pin 9 so if I enable the digital pin 9 I can see its, its current value, which is zero because it's off. And if I open its viewer, I can, you know, change set, set one, and the and the LED is, is turned on. So that's, but that's that's not uh, that's not much because that's just what we already. Have. <laughs> Thanks. Um, of course, we can also. We can also plug, you know, plug in. Um, you know, uh, That'll be the monitor what? The monitor. That will be the monitor program. That's not uh, nothing very different one than what we have. It, it, so I will show you. I, I had this, you know, uh, potentiometer that I plugged in. I have this potentiometer that I plugged in. Uh, this uh, analog pin one, which is 15. 
And you can see that if I, I move it around, you can see the value. So, <laughs> so you have it both ways, that simple. Um, which means you can, you can do what we used to do. We can um, work with uh, Etoys on the, in the, on, the, on the screen and interact with the real world and stuff. But when you want to write a code that will stay on the, on the, on the board, I made this, this, this simple editor, which is kind of like a browser, a uh, workspace. And here where is where you write uh, the, the code, you know. Uh, I call this, this small language Uzi script, you know, so, uh, because I don't know, uh, that seems like a ni nice, nice name. And uh, I will show you so some of its uh, features. So I will make a simple program, you know, I have this LED uh, uh, turned on, and I can write, you know, um, uh, tu -tu 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 -tu. the simplest program I can think of is So in, in here, he, here we have something like similar to, to Itois. You know, uh, Itois has all these scripts. We, we can show that. I can write a, a script here that will turn on and off the, the, the LED. So if I, if I do this, then the, 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 the LED will be uh, turning on and off, uh, will blink, you know. S and uh, each script, I can also, for instance, make, uh, you know, I draw like draw an, an arrow, you know, something like this, and use the, oh, thanks. So I can use this, uh, the value of the potentiometer to move the, the arrow around. So since the values are between zero and one, I can scale it, but, you know, to, and now, if I move, I can, I have to do this and enable that, and I can, you know, have these scripts that are running, you know, concurrently with, with each other, yes? So in, in the UCI language, I have something similar. I, I have these different scripts that I can write, and they, the, the, the execution is done by the virtual machine without me worrying about it. So each... Now if you the cable, it stops of course, yes, if I unplug plan it, then I, I obviously that does, does not uh, have any sense. <laughs> so now I connect it uh, again. You know, and well, well, it still works, right? So in in, in the use script uh, language, we have the same idea. You know, different scripts and they run uh, concurrently. So every script has a name that I decided to put it like this. You have to tell it its state, like ticking is, uh, ticks every, every, every loop, and then the, the body of the, of, the, um, of, the, of the script. So this is the, simple, the simplest I can think of, uh, the simplest script. I will write a value to the digital pin 9 by, by reading the value of the analog pin 1, yes? So if I accept this, then of course, I will have to stop this because that will, you know, mess with my, my example. And if you can see, I don't know if you see this, but the LED, if I move the, the arrow around, then it's slowly fading in and out. I can also do this, do this with, uh, you know, something more uh, annoying maybe, which is... Uh... <laughs> so this is a... I, I think you can hear this. Um, so this is a program that is now running on the uh, on the Arduino. If uh, if I save this, I, I have to make an extra step to, to, in order to save it and then be able to unplug it because we have uh, I have to run this. Yes. So now if I unplug this, it disconnects from here and I have this uh, battery here that I can use you know, to uh, be able to test this program that it still works. Of course, the communication won't work anymore, but the, the thing that I wrote in the editor will, will work uh, fine. So th that's kind of the simplest program I can write. I could also, uh, let's say I have a script here, I can check. Uh, yes, this is working, so I will go back to the computer. That's just for demonstration purposes. So you don't have to believe me. No. Um, 
uh, I can also do some, this is, you know, a simple language, so I can use some variables. I, I can declare, you know, the seconds variable and uh, make a timer, you know, that will tick uh, one, one thousand times per second and it will only uh, increase the value of seconds by, you know, like, like that. And then if I, of course, I have to connect because otherwise it won't work. Then if I, I, once I accept this, I send the program to the, to the computer, this still works because it's running over here. And um, if, now you see that I have these globals here, that is the, you know, the variable that I, I declare here. If I enabled it to, so that I can be notified of the, of the value, I can see that it's uh, incrementing every second. And I can use that, for instance, to write, uh, I will change this, Dimmer program. In fact, I will just comment it and uh, make you know a, a sine wave with this, and I write in the nine you know the seconds same you know. And now, if uh, if I didn't make a mistake, I can see that you know the the top half of the of the sine wave. I can, of course, I could do something like uh, use eto is to graph this. Like I will use. Uh, something sm simple, no? I will add a star here, and this star will be graphing the value of the. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Increase by one, so it moves forward, and then I will set its y value, this is y, to the value of the nine, digital pin nine times you know, the length of the play field so that it's scaled correctly. Mm -hmm. I think it's over here. So you see, oh, of course I can, I have to enable the pen. So pen use, pen down. Now if I do this and I have, you know, the a simple graph of the, of the sine wave, I can I can also move it you know let's move it over here I can move the I can scale the the sign of course with a couple of cinco and now if I reset the graph I should clear this you you see that it's now, of course, the, the LED is still working because it's working like like before, and um, and that's you know the the thing. I I can also use so this is the the idea of, of variables of global variables. That I can also modify them from the, the Eto's environment, so I can use that to interact directly with the computer, to, with the Arduino. So I can write another program like 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 this. You know, uh, I don't know uh, test. I don't know the name. And say like, okay, I, I declare this variable x. If, if x is greater than I know, I don't know, 500. If true, it's just I, I don't know the 10, which I on, and if false, the 10 off. Let's say, you know, I have I don't have anything connected to the 10, so I will put the, the booster there, and in the 10. D10, I have this booster, and if I write this, I have this x variable here, which currently doesn't do anything because it's set to, to zero, so I, I, that doesn't do anything. But I can write, you know, a script from uh, eToys that will uh, use, for instance, you know, the, um, I don't remember where this was, playfield, the x value of the of the cursor and now if i move the, the the mouse over the right of the screen i can you know uh, make this branch the active branch of, of, of and bother everyone in the in the audience you know so um, the point is that now we can have you know programs that are running on the arduino and uh, that interact with the computer without the limitations that we had earlier uh, of course, this brings a lot of other limitations that I have on the other part of, the, of my sheet. 
uh, for once, the, the language is still very, very simple. You know, I only have uh, numbers as the, the data type. I don't need any anything else because, okay. <laughs> Let's delete this this program so I can move freely. And and of course, uh, so I, I was saying I only have numbers in my in my language yet. Uh, for the, the physical ETS part, I don't need much more because the physical ETS scripts are usually very simple and only deal with, with numbers. Um, another issue that I have is that the programs must be very small because uh, I, I can't use the flash uh, uh, memory from the... Or I, I could use it, but it will be much, much complicated. So I'm using the EEPROM memory. Uh, which is very small, so to store the, the user programs. So the, the programs must be small. Um, I don't, of course, the speed of this is much uh, slower than the actually running uh, C++ code. But I think it won't, won't be a problem because, the, as I said, the physical scripts are usually very simple, so I believe that won't be a problem. I measured it with simple programs like this, and you know, writing the same program in, both in C++ and, and in, in here, and I find that the execution is kind, kind of like six times lower, which is not that much. So I believe it won't be an issue. And of course, this is a work in progress. I want to fully integrate this with with, with the the, the the point is, you won't have to write this because that's not the idea. This should be an, like, like an intermediate language, and the Etoys scripts should be able to detect which statements should be compiled, you know, to 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 this language, and which should be left here and interact with with variables, you know, and uh, make everything transparent, you know, so you can still work, you know, like talking with the, the Arduino and say let turn on or let turn off, and then uh, the program automatically will be run uh, if it can on the on the Arduino and the the, uh, the other part of the script will run on the computer. So uh, that's uh, what I'm working on now because the language is, although very you know, simple, is working enough to be able to do that. Um, of course, may, later I will want to exp extend the language with more features because this is, right now it's just a very toy language that doesn't do much. Um, maybe add support, you know, that support for other data types. Like no, I don't know arrays or strings which are useful. Um, I, I can use this. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, I don't have functions yet in the language. I don't have procedures, that, so that's very, very limited. I only have these uh, scripts which run like in a in a loop, but I don't have a mean to a way to call them yet. Uh, except I can I can start and stop the scripts from the language, but that's not the same. Um, and of course, maybe later, uh, you know, of course I have to optimize the program size, which is still very large for what I, what I have. Um, and maybe later I will want to add, you know, debugging capabilities like step-by-step -step execution and, you know, breakpoints or, or such. Uh, I, I have an idea of how to implement that, but I, I didn't have the time yet. Um, and that, so that, I think that's all. Um, thanks. Uh, if you have any questions. Yeah, that, yes, it's, it's... I don't know if everyone knows specs of Okay, I can show the, 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 the specs of the Arduino. It's, I believe it's over here. Uh, I don't remember, <laughs> so... Um, so the one I have here is... An, the one I have here is an Arduino Uno, which is kind of like the most popular one. And if I do, 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 do. 
So this is technical. Discuss. This is the microcontroller, and say the EEPROM, which is what I use to to store the the programs, is just one kilobyte, which uh, for me is, is very little, but other people who will, is, you know, arguable. The clock speed is 16 megahertz. Uh, well, I don't know what are you interested in, but. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, no, I don't know. I think it's, it should be much cheaper. For, uh, in, in Argentina, the prices are, you know, not the same as uh, 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 as well. I think I think it's like 400 pesos or such. So that's you know. Because the Arduino was, you know, before. <laughs> and no, but I also, also the, the, the Raspberry Pi is much more, uh, it's like a full computer. Uh, but this is for electronic program projects and working with kids, I think that uh, if you have a nice shield and uh, some, you know, Devices like this that I'm using, it's easier to work with them without uh, breaking anything, you know. They can plug in stuff like the wrong way and it, it's, it works. Uh, that, that's mainly the... the, the, the yeah. Yes.